What's up you guys, Short Miss Prime here, doing another P.O. Box pickups video for you guys over here. Uh, stopped by the P.O. Box, got a couple of things, had a couple of packages uh, delivered to the house. So I'm going to open up these two packages over here. Uh, first thing that we got in the mail is a little flyer for the San Jose Super Toy Show. Yeah, I got to promote this and look at that, we got Roddy Roddy Piper coming to that too, which is really cool. I think he's going to be there only on Saturday, uh, I'm not exactly sure. But there's some details right there for those of you that are in the San Francisco Bay Area, come through. I will be selling action figures along with Sean Long, so we're each going to have our own table. Uh, thanks to Chu and Andrew for setting that up. So yeah, check that out. We'll be at San Jose Super Toy. Uh, got a lot, of, a lot of figures to sell, man. Um, so yeah. And then, also, I got a letter right here from Marvel Generation. Alright, let's check this out. It wasn't that long ago when I did my last P.O. Box pickup video, so I'm not really surprised that there's not too much going on inside the P.O. Box, but, uh, ooh, check this out. All right, on it says, hey, Shardimus, I'm a huge fan of yours, and I've been watching your videos for almost two years now. Your videos have inspired me to start my own my own channel. I only have three subscribers. Lame, right? I do movies, I do movie reviews and Marvel Legend reviews. I'm only 13 years old and I wonder how my future on YouTube will be if I continue making videos. I only have four Marvel Legends. The Marvel Legends I have are Iron Man, Mark 42, and Amazing Spider-Man, Stealth Suit, Captain America, and the Guardians of the Galaxy Nova figure, which is a really good figure. Uh, I would appreciate if you can give me a shout out when you can get this letter. My YouTube name is Marvel Generation. Check them out, Marvel Generation. I want to know if you can answer some questions. Okay, we got five questions here. One, I'm planning to get the TRU Unmasked Wolverine, and do you recommend trying to remove the claws just like the X-Force one? Yes. In the, in the video I explained, you can do the claw removal the same way. Two, can you make a video of your Iron Man Marvel Legends collection? By the way, Iron Man is my favorite superhero of all time. Uh, I'm going to do a whole Dork Room collection video at some point in the future. I'm working on it, though, man. If you guys can't tell, you know, this little section right here is new. Um... <laughs> ah, I decided to put down my alternators. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, but for real though, man, it sucks. Um, I had to make decision, man. I had to make I had to make an executive decision and, and take down my MPO4. And oh, MPO4 is still lingering up there all by himself. But my Optimus Prime, my first masterpiece, Optimus Prime. And all the alternators are going to get transformed and put away, uh, probably displayed in the garage somewhere later on. But yeah, they're leaving the dork room. And uh, yeah, so I'm switching. Feral Rex is going to go all the way up there along with Hercules and and the Minasaur and stuff. I, I, so I'm switching things around in the dork room. I'm going to do a whole room collection. But yeah, it's sad to... But And then all my Marvel Universe figures I have to bag up and put away and I will display at a later date, not for sale. Uh, three, what is the best Marvel Legends figure you own? Oh man, P.O. Box pickups video, or the Q&A video. Um, uh, let's say uh, Sentinel or the McFarlane Spider-Man. Uh, do you have any tips on how to make your channel grow? Uh, what was your favorite wave this year? Uh, I think my favorite wave this year was the Amazing Spider-Man 2 wave. How to make your channel grow? Oh man, yeah, I've, you gotta you gotta put work into it for a long period of time. You're saying you're 13 right now. You only have four figures in your collection, uh, which is cool poses by the way. These poses aren't too bad. Just want to show that off really quick. That's pretty good. That's Spider. Yeah, um, but you know you gotta give it time. I like the picture by the way. Um, you just have to realize that it's. You know, don't put all your eggs in one basket, you know, while you while you have at it with your YouTube channel. You know, don't forget to try other things. Um, you know, like for instance, I've always been working at music. I, I'm still working on a lot of music right now and stuff. And I've, I've never stopped playing music. This YouTube channel is something else. i got my college degree. Uh, you got to keep getting a bunch of different things going on in your life. So, you know, keep going for it. But, um, you know, mimic people that you think that you... Uh, mimic... YouTubers that you like. That's what I do. Is I rip off YouTubers all the time. So there you go. Rip off YouTubers, but then put your own little style into it when you do it. You know, that's that's my advice. All right, now for some new stuff. Uh, we got some review samples over here. Um, let's see. This one is from Playmates, and we sent this. Ooh, wow. And we got Bebop and Rocksteady over here. Is there one more in there? Or is it just bubble wrap? It is just bubble wrap. Wow, it's kind of a big package for these figures, but these look sweet, man. Wow. I'm looking at them and you can't see them. All right. 
Bebop, and I don't really get that many review samples from Playmates, so when I do, I really appreciate it. Wow. Oh, these look cool. I can't, I haven't seen the episodes where Bebop and Rocksteady finally show up, but these look awesome. Those look sick. Can you see Rocksteady? I actually think this actually even looks a little bit cooler than the classic collection Rocksteady. I can already tell it doesn't have as much articulation, but damn, then there's Bebop right there. These look really cool. Well, I'm excited to open these. This is cool. I need to catch up on the cartoon, man. Damn, I'm so behind on all my entertainment stuff. So yeah, Playmates gave me a heads up before they sent that out over here. They want to know if I would review it, and I'm gladly, I gladly will. Um, now, Kotobukiya sent something in the mail that I didn't see coming at all. Uh, I got no warning, so I, don't, I have no idea what this is. Um, and then, just so you know, I got the, thanks to Toy News Eye, I got the, uh, the Freddy, the Ultimate Freddy figure from NECA, so I'll be reviewing that soon. And I'm going to try to do some Throwback Thursday reviews this week, too, on top of everything else, so let's see what we can get done this week. Oh, I got a lot of the pop, I hate this stuff, man. This just drives me, this drives me crazy, but let's see, oh, no. Is this what I think it is? Oh, cool. Is this Bishoujo? Oh, it's Bishoujo. Speaking of Freddy, yeah, we got the Freddy Krueger Bishoujo statue right there. Ooh, I mean, ooh, -wee. nice looking, very, very pretty. I like that. Wow, I love the Bishoujo stuff, man. You can, you cannot go wrong. Just, and the Freddy Warhees. Yeah, ooh. Or Freddy Warhees, Jason Warhees. Wow. Oh, she looks cool. I like how they meted her up. That is nice. This is the first time I've seen this in, oh, in package like this. That is cool. Wow. Which one out of these two would you rather see reviewed first? Out of these two, which one would you rather see reviewed first? That is cool. Oh, there's one more in here, too. Let's see what this one is. This is all caught me by surprise. And then, oh wow, a lot of you guys are going to like this one. And then, this is the last piece in here. Whoa, a lot of that popcorn stuff. And here we have Green Arrow. Nice. Looking like a pretty cool statue. I like this pose that they have him in. Not, you know, I, out of the new DC shows, Arrow's the only one I've really watched. And this is a comic version. This is an Artifacts Plus Green Arrow. So I'll be reviewing this one too. That's looking pretty cool. I've seen a few episodes of the Arrow TV show. It looks pretty cool, but this will go next. This this will go well with my Batgirl up there. Well, actually, no, I can't have him up there with the Batgirl. I have to put him on my DC show right over there. Yeah, that's right. A little pinky wiggle towards the DC show. But this is really dope, though. I'm digging this a lot. That's pretty cool. All right, man. Thanks so much, Kota Bakia. Uh, check out the latest from Kota Bakia at, uh, at their Facebook channel. Like their face. Like they constantly update their Facebook page, so make sure you're doing that. All right, and these were shoujo statues. Ooh, get it, guy. Like them bowl. All right. Anyway, that's what's going on. Uh, got reviews coming up, man. Um, also got all kinds of other things going on in the mix. Did a lot of talking in the Q and A video, so you must be sick of my face by now, right? I, as handsome as this is, you're sick of the face, right? All right, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.